One of my students used to refer to expanding binomials as monkey face math because she said if you multiply the first times the first and the outer product and the inner product and then last times last you got a monkey face and she said that that's the easy part expanding the monkey face is uh, is fairly straightforward it's putting it back together that's the hard part and that's why I've done this video I've uh, given it the boring title of factoring trinomials part one but it's concerned with putting the monkey face back together again now the first thing you should look at is the plus sign on the end of this. This tells us the signs in the brackets will be identical. In this case both signs will be plus and in this case both signs will be negative. Negative times a negative gives us a positive and a positive times a positive gives us a positive. Now what we need to do is find factors of 6, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, and because the signs are the same, we need a sum of 5. So we select the 2 and the 3. Now it doesn't matter what order you put them in, you can put the 2 and the 3, or the 3 and the 2. It's not going to matter the order, because when you check the middle term, you see both of these terms get a negative sign. That's what gives us the negative 5 in the middle here and the positive 5 in this case over here. Again, if you see a plus sign at the end, both signs will be what you see here. In this case, we need two numbers that multiply to give us 15 possibilities, 1 and 15, and 3 and 5. We need the numbers that give us a sum of 8. If the signs are the same, you look for a sum. I can put the 3 and the 5 in either order. That will give us a middle term of negative 8x. Now the harder ones are the ones with a negative at the end, because that tells us that the signs are different. After all, a positive times a negative gives us the negative 6 on the end. Once again we need factors of 6, 1 and 6, or 3 and 2, but this time because the signs are different, we need a difference of 5. So we select the 1 and the 6. Now because the signs are different, you have to be careful where you put these numbers. In this case we need more positives. So we need the plus to go with the 6, and the 1 will go with the minus sign. Plus 6x and minus 1x gives us the 5x. And over here, with the minus sign in the middle, we give the larger number the minus sign. And now the minus 6x and the plus 1x will give us the minus 5x in the middle. One last example of that type, a negative sign on the end tells us the signs are different. We need factors of 15, 1 and 15, 3 and 5. This time because the signs are different, we need a difference of 2. So I select the 3 and the 5. Again because the signs are different, I have to be careful where I put the numbers. The uh, minus sign in the middle tells me that the larger number, the 5, should get the minus sign in the bracket. Checking the whole thing, x times x is x squared. The outer product is negative 5x. The inner is plus 3x. That's what gives us the negative 2x in the middle. And finally, positive 3 times negative 5 gives you negative 15. So that concludes the lesson on trinomials part 1. In a second uh, video I'm going to consider the case where I have a number in front of the x squared. That makes the problem a little bit harder.